ट्रांजिशन इन लैंग्वेज डिवेलपमेंट दैट हाउ द चाइल्ड इज गेटिंग ट्रांजिशन और ट्रांसफॉर्मिंग फ्रॉम वन स्टेज टू अदर स्टेज दैट इज कॉल्ड द ट्रांजिशन दैट लैंग्वेज हैव इट मीन्स द लैंग्वेज हैज सम स्टेजेस और सम स्टेप्स और सम फेजेस टू गेट फुल डिवेलपमेंट तो first transition occurs when first year ends and it proceeds in the school year with the emergence of words into essential vocabulary what does it mean it means that now the child is getting uh, more uh, vocabulary to use uh, to explain or to express his thoughts or emotions or uh, feelings and uh, when he is moving from the house to the school now he will meet uh, with different people different he will make different friends he will meet with different teachers and uh, these children will come from different areas these children will come from different uh, uh, provinces and uh, they have their own accents they have their uh, word vocabulary and uh, they have different experiences and now the child will mix with these kids then he will learn new accents then he will learn new language words and uh, now this in this way he will you know increase his vocabulary and uh, he will uh, share with you the new words and new uh, language styles and uh, so in this uh, way the socialization that he is doing actually he is learning the you know new ways of language that he uh, you can uh, determine easily that the person is uh, Uh, belong to the sraiki province or sraiki area and uh, the person is belong to the uh, punjabi background and person is belong to the sindhi background the person is belong to the uh, pakhtunkhwa background or person is belong to the balochi background because of his accent and uh, either they are talking uh, or expressing in one language even they are uh, speaking urdu that is our national language but they would have the different you know uh, accents so by 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 understanding their accents we can uh, determine or we can identify the person belongs to which area so now the child is learning these uh, styles because he enters into the school and he is uh, meeting with different people and he is getting interaction with different people so now the child is able uh, to understand that uh, firstly he would he would enjoy and he would you know make fun of them that they are talking in a different accent and he will be confused sometimes but now he will get command in the language by using these different accent and he will practice in at house in front of you then uh, we should not condemn and we should not you know discourage the child that whatever he is uh, showing you in front of you and don't uh, you know you, you force your child to just speak in your own accent but you should you know uh, give liberty to your child to learn different accents and then to uh, then to you know conclude that which accent is the best his accent is best and then then the mixture of the accents right now will will increase the vocabulary of the child and uh, he will uh, uh, learn many things through socialization this is the first transition what is the second transition second transition happens when children change from saying one word to ones to joining words into expressions and basic sentence about the end of school year uh now the transition that uh, they they complete their school time and now they are entering into the you know uh, uh college or uh, university or uh, in another school this can be the transition that they are coming from the public school to the private school this can be a transition they are coming from the urdu medium to the english medium this is this can be a transition so transition can be different types it depends on the child's moves whatever the moves child is taking it uh, uh, it just determine or it just describe the transition to transition hum ek nahi keh sakte ke wo sirf school mein gaya aur school se nikla aur ghar aa gaya to usne kuch word seekh liye balki agar aap kuch aise bacche jaise ek school se dusre school mein bhi move karte hain to ye bhi transition kehlati hai kyunki zahir hai ek school ke mahol se jab wo dusre school mein jayenge so they will learn new words they will learn learn new language they will meet different people and they will get different interaction so that interaction you know will will describe different things so this transition can come from uh, first schooling to the second schooling or schooling after schooling to 
enter into the college life college life is a different life now he or, or she will get a, a big environment uh, and uh, it uh, would be a liberal environment a little bit flexible little bit uh, flexible environment that uh, he or she was actually uh, under control in school life now in college life he or she feels that it is more flexible and free life तो यहाँ पे आके वो नई लैंग्वेज सीखेगा एक ट्रांजिशन और आ गया है जिसमें अब उसकी वोकेबलरी और बढ़ जाएगी इस ट्रांजिशन के बाद एक थर्ड ट्रांजिशन जिसको हम कह रहे हैं कि यूटिलाइजिंग सिंपल सेंटेंसेस टू एक्सप्रेस वन थार्ड टू कॉम्प्लेक्स सेंटेंसेस अब चूंकि वो स्कूल से कॉलेज और यूनिवर्सिटी की तरफ भी आ गया है तो अब जहाँ पर आके उसकी जो एक्सप्रेशन है वो मेचोर हो जाएंगे एक्सप्रेशन मेचोर होने की वजह से हम बच्चे को कहेंगे कि आप स्टेज पर आएँ और कोई उसको एक कोई भी टॉपिक दिया जाए डिस्कशन के लिए उसको कहा जाए जी आप इसके ऊपर डिस्कस कीजिए तो बच्चा जो है नाउ ही और शी वुड बी एबल टू एक्सप्रेस हिज और हर थॉट्स ऑन एनी टॉपिक नाउ ही हैज इनाफ वोकेबलरी और एम्पल वर्ड्स सेलेक्शन और और वर्ल्ड बैंक दैट ही और शी कैन सेलेक्ट एनी वर्ड फ्राम द वर्ल्ड बैंक टू यू नो टू डू डिस्कशन सो अब ये जो थर्ड ट्रांजेशन है इस पे बच्चे जो हैं अब इस स्टेज पे आ जाते हैं कि वो किसी भी टॉपिक के ऊपर जो है वो अपना एक्सप्रेशन जो है वो फ्रीली दे सकते हैं और ये इसकी थर्ड ट्रांजिशन इसलिए कहलाती है कि लैंग्वेज डेवलपमेंट में इसको हम मेचोर स्टेज कहते हैं और पीक स्टेज भी कहते हैं किसी भी लैंग्वेज के लिए